my channel so today i wanted to start on a new adventure i'm going to take you along on the journey of me trying polymer clay so i've never used it before i don't know what i'm doing i watched a bunch of videos on youtube but i thought you know what let's just do it together so you can see what i'm going to be doing when i'm starting out and maybe this will help you not to give up because maybe some things don't work out the first time around so let's just do this together so this is what i got i got some polymer clay in different colors i got some more on the side um these are from the action it's um, the cheapest i could find because i don't want to buy anything expensive when i'm trying something new so i've got different colors and i'm going to be using some pink i guess today i will put a picture up here to show you what i'm going for so the next thing i've got is i've got some playing cards because i don't have a pasta machine so to make the clay a certain thickness i'm going to use the cards i've got a plastic roller a small one I I've got a knitting pin. I, I don't even know how you would call it, but it's for smoothing joints. Then I've got two blades, so the really thin ones. I've got a little tile. I've got a ruler and I've got my little um, piggy bank. I want to cover with the clay. I'm hoping this will be okay to put in the oven, but it's wood and I think it might work. We're just gonna try. First, we need to make the king. So um, I also think I'm gonna be using some PVA glue to put the clay on the piggy bank but first let's start out with the basics so let's get everything out of the way so from what i understand is you first need to make the clay soft i put some parchment paper down and i'm just going to cut this piece of pink clay in some smaller pieces as i said i have no clue what i'm doing this is the first time ever and i'm just going to start trying to make this soft so this feels already a lot better and now what i want to do with this one is i think i want to use about half of it and i want to roll it into a snake but i want it to be about like four centimeters this is too long let's say that's about right this is our, going to be our center color and now i want to make something around it so the second layer and in this case i think i want to do the darker one so this is the darker color as you can see it's a lot darker and i want to make a thin uh, strip that i can roll around here so i think i'm going to use about a quarter and again we need to make this soft you don't want it to crack so then it's not soft enough let's just see what happens if i roll it so the playing cards um, you can use them to stack them on the sides of your clay to make the clay a certain thickness so i think i'm gonna try that i'm gonna use four cards place them on either side and roll over it and that should make it so it can't not push it down any further i think i'm going to go one thinner Okay, let's try it this way. That's why I wanted a four centimeter piece. So let me just see. It really gets stuck to everything. Didn't expect it to be this sticky. So it's not perfect. Let's see if I can take this off. So don't push it too hard on the color you want it to stick to because it will stick. And I want to make them meet and you need a straight edge for it to work the best you can like so i think i'm just going to try and trim this piece so i can use it to fill up the space i'm missing like so let's try that on the other side as well you can see the joint right there and you just roll and stick over it to make this smooth you can make it look like it's just one piece so this is what my sides are looking like and i'm going to put you on a time lapse because i want to do the other colors so i will speed you through the rest Thank you. 
So I've been making several of these rolls. I did them all the same uh, way, just with different colors. So I've got some with three or four colors and five colors, different colors on the outside. And what I want to do is create a couple of clusters. And I'm not sure. I wanted to go for the blue, but I decided to go for the white because I've got some more um, in the other packages I've got. And the blue, I just don't think it's going to be enough. So what I want to try is make these kind of interesting. I don't want them all to be round. I want a couple to be round, but I also want to have some that are a little bit oddly shaped. So I'm just going to start with these colors. I want to keep them a little bit together and maybe I want to make this one a little bit thinner as well. So let's put these next to each other. Cut that one off. And this one I want to make a little bit of a different shape. So I'm just going to pinch it on one side and push it to the tile. It will make a triangle. Like so. And I have to be careful not to pull to the outside too much. Because otherwise it will end up being too long. I'm just going to put these two together. And I think I want them like so. And I'm going to be using also some white in between. Because I want to uh, make it look like it's uh, it got the white webbing. So maybe I can put some white in here. I pre-rolled a couple of white pieces. Because otherwise it would be taking too long to do everything on camera. Let's just cut that little piece off. Try and keep the white separate. And I might want to put then some white on this side. So let's cut a straight edge like so. Put it against this part. Maybe wrap it around and push it in here. I'm just making this up as I go. And that's the fun part. There's no, um, there are no rules. So just can go with whatever you feel like. So I'll just put that together and make it meet. And I'll do the same with this. Like so. And then cut this roll. I need to make it a little bit longer. And I'm going to put that one in here, like so. And I might want to flatten it out to the one side. Just want to make some cool shapes. So let's put you on time lapse, because otherwise you're going to be here for hours. So I finished my canes. I'm going to show them to you. So this is the first. I think I did a little bit too much white, but I really like it. And I've got the second that has a dark border and the third. So before I'm going to apply them to my wooden bear, I'm going to put down a thin layer of another color that I have using some PVA glue. And I'm just going to put it on. And the reason why I'm doing a layer of the green is so that my canes uh, can be stretched a little bit farther because right now I don't think I have enough to cover the whole bear and therefore I think I'm going to make it a little bit thinner but if you go too thin it might crack so that's why I'm using the green uh, below it to give it a little bit more thickness so let's do a little bit on the underside as well and uh, the best would be I think liquid clay to put it on but I don't have it so I'm just going to put it on in parts I'm just going to start with this area hopefully you can see but I'm going to cut around the edge and fold it over and then I'm going to do that for the rest of the bear and there you go it's finally fully covered took a while I didn't have enough so one side is a little bit different color but I'm glad I did this I think it will help um, not only to adhere my colors but I also think it, it makes it a little bit sturdier so now I have to figure out how to place these and how thick I want to cut them because if I cut them thicker I can roll them to be thinner I think I'm gonna do about three playing cards thickness it's not really thick but I think about a millimeter maybe a little bit more because if you take a thicker slice you will get a different effect than a thinner slice because if I roll this out it will become pretty big and it will look completely different from how it looked before so that's the part I'm gonna be playing with let's take a slice and maybe start with a thinner one I'm really trying to go straight like so that's about twice the thickness I want so let's see what happens if I roll this one out 
maybe I'm gonna do four cards. Think about that. And I'm really just making it up as I go. So let's see. And I can just stick it on. And I might want to go over the sides. Let's just start in the middle. Just gonna stick it on like so. And then I want to take a second one from a different design. Let's try about the same width. Something like that. Picking it up. And let's just place it here. And shape it a little bit like so. And then I can roll these two to become one like that. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's the idea. Let's get one more slice together and then I'll be probably doing another time lapse. I'm taking a little bit of a thicker slice from this one because its design ended up being a little bit small. Sorry for the noise in the background, but they're doing construction in one of the other apartments. Okay, let's do it like that. Kind of wanting to do it. Don't want to go like here, you know. This is going to take a while. Maybe like so. And let's do that for the whole bear. So I'm really liking how far I've come. It's really coming together. It's really fun to puzzle where which piece can go. So I'm going to work on it some more and I'll show you when I'm done. So I finished my bear or at least one side of it. And I'm going to show you I did do the back side as well just to cover it fully. So now it's time to go and bake. So please fingers crossed that it will work. So I put my oven on 125 top and bottom heat and it is ready because otherwise the light will be on so it's preheated and now i'm going to wrap this piece it's on the ceramic towel i'm going to wrap it in aluminium foil on top so it won't burn i made a little tent now it's time to put it in the oven let's see if i can do this one-handed without burning myself and i'm going to place it a little bit in the front um, the front of the oven is less likely to overheat than the back and i'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes it's set 10 to 15 so i'm gonna try 10 so we have to wait and see if it works so it's out of the oven it's hard it's cold it didn't crack i was really surprised but i did have to bake it a little bit longer because the center wasn't fully baked the sides were so what i'm gonna do for the other side is i'm going to make a way thinner base and i'm gonna stick it to the wood really well and then i'm just gonna do the same as on this side and i will show you when that's cooked and done so here is how it turned out. I used some black acrylic paint to paint the inside and the wooden box and the name of my little niece on the other side. Which side do you prefer? So I like this side better. So it's a little bit more like a painting. This side, it's a bit busy. I just still like it. There's a lot of details in it. And I actually made this with the same canes. So I stuck them together and I will insert a clip of uh, how the cane looked like when I put it on this side. But tell me in the comments which side you like so a little bit more busy side or a little bit more bigger side so let me show you the other piece i made so i made this little hanger and i just added the clay right to the metal and pushed it in and baked it just like that and because the oven isn't that hot it won't melt so it's perfectly fine to do and even if it doesn't really stick to it you can just add a little bit of glue after both of the pieces will get a layer of varnish but i'm so so happy how they turned out it's so cute so let me know if this video was helpful for you and if you have any questions just leave them down below in the comments and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible for me it was a really good experience trying polymer clay and i want to for sure do more so if you have any ideas what i i could make also put them in the comment section i would, I would love to try some of your suggestions but thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye everyone